Welcome to Ahmedabad. Very exciting train. Indian trains are notoriously hard to book. Shatabdi that we are getting today. So look at this, we found it. The train completely changes. I am actually really excited to get on this train. This has got to be the best decorated exterior of a train and we are off. Good afternoon and welcome to Ahmedabad railway station. Today we are going to be taking the train from Ahmedabad, Gujarat to Mumbai and we are going to be getting a very exciting train, a train that we've been trying to take for the longest time, the Shatabdi Express and we have actually booked onto the Anna Beauty class which is meant to be the fanciest class train in all of India. Better than first class, better than AC class. It is meant to be like first class on a plane. So we now need to find our platform again. It was very difficult to book. It's been a very quick stay here in Ahmedabad. To be fair, this is probably India's boringest city. So I'm quite excited to be heading to Mumbai. Honestly, Indian trains are notoriously hard to book and they sell out weeks to months in advance we actually had to get our friend Raj from train ticket please to book these tickets and it was not an easy feat even for him but I've checked the board and it says D01 so I have no idea what that means I think we have to go up here and then hope for the best I did actually print the tickets out so that might make it a little bit easier but here goes. so this train route Ahmedabad to Mumbai actually has supposedly three of the best trains that you can get in all of India. The Vandabira Express that we have previously got, the Shatabdi that we are getting today and also the Tejas Express. A lot of people say the Vandabira is best but now because of this new Anna Beauty class, Shatabdi might be taking over if we can find it. We have, it is currently 2.42 and the train leaves at 10 past 3. Oh, and here you go. It's a huge station. I didn't think Ahmedabad would be such a big station, but we need to figure out. There's always a task figuring out your platform. What are we, D1? I think so. D1. I have absolutely. Look at this. You tell me where to go. I have absolutely no idea. We can't wait to show you this. We've actually had the pleasure of using our level 8 suitcase for the last year and a half. It was literally the start of our travels being that it was a gorgeous bright yellow. It was sleek and in such good condition. Literally our main concern being full-time travellers is whether our suitcase will a make it off the conveyor belt but also make it off in one piece and not have any wheels missing or any scratches. <laughs> Luckily we literally do not have that problem with our stunning level 8 suitcases. We've just got a new upgrade for 2024 which we are very happy about. Say hello to our luminous check-in bag. Look at how beautiful that is. We have a gorgeous black hard shell and it's got a scratch resistant composite surface and 360 spinner wheels. So we'll literally be gliding to our gate at the airport. Level eight offer specially crafted cases for maximum traveling efficiency. There's multiple styles, multiple colors to choose from. So there's definitely something for everyone. Currently there is a Christmas discount on their website. Honestly, it's the perfect gift for underneath your Christmas tree or if you just need to upgrade your luggage. We would highly recommend them. You can look as cool as us. Check out the link in the description and get yourself a level eight suitcase. Okay, so we've made it down to D1. But this doesn't look like what I was expecting. So I'm gonna have to ask someone. Um, I still haven't seen a sign that says Shatabdi either. Why yeah. do they make it so confusing? It's so confusing. This doesn't look like this doesn't look like the pictures of the train that we booked. But the sign behind says that this is the Ahmedabad to Mumbai. I'm almost certain. Maybe it is, but it does not look like this would be the Shatabdi Express. I, I'm quite lost. Hello, Bastab. Hello. Hello. Is this Shatabdi? Shatabdi. And a beauty. And a beauty. Yeah, and the booty at the end. This way. 
Ah. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you. Thank you, bud. Okay. Oh, we're at the wrong end of the train. At the moment, this isn't screaming the best train in India, I mean, but it look bad. no, no, no. It's just like any other train. But I had high hopes for the Anna Beauty. I think it's just one attached car. So that's like one train car yeah. that has been attached okay. Okay, to the rest of the train. So it's just a normal train and they've just stuck like a really posh airline type carriage to it, I think. So look at this, we've found it. The train completely changes. It's got a fancy sort of painting on the outside. It's got Anna Pooty and a little writing there. Look at it in the middle. Look at this. This has got to be the poshest train carriage. Look at this. In all of India. I am actually really excited to get on this train. This has got to be the best decorated exterior of a train you're going to find in all of India. It's time to get on, we're early, we've got about half an hour, but I want this AC reclining chair. Hello, Hello. namaste. Hi. It's okay? Thank you very much. Which way? This way? This way? Do you want me to take it? I'll pass it up to you. Ready? You go and I'll pass it. Ready? Oh, look at this. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. How are you? Seventeen and eighteen. This is us. This is us. Can you believe it? <gasps> There's nothing there. They've removed the TV screens. Oh, it's like an airplane. No way. It was. It was maybe ten years ago. <laughs> it's still nice. We've got the little reclining seats. Let's get in. Oh, let's get in. You have luggage space, so. Oh, reclining seats. <laughs> We've got bundles of legroom and this goes all the way back. I have to say the aircon is really really good on here and the seats are big, comfortable and spacious but I'm really disappointed that we do not have. It's been removed. The entertainment system, it looks like someone's literally just broken it out um, and for reference this cost 4,822 rupees which is about 48 English pounds. Now this journey is going to cost six hours so it's not that bad. I must say I was expecting I'm a little bit more. But I'm very surprised yeah we do have the worst giant reclining They're like huge. this like let me see if i can go back i can get <laughs> i can lay all the way back we have <coughs> some plugs we have a couple of reading lights and big window actually it's clean huge window good views and i think we have food included in this fair but so far we'll see i mean i would probably recommend booking the van der Barat. maybe even the tejas because we were told and a beauty the new fancy best class that you can find on indian railways looks a little bit old thank you thank you where's the tv no sorry it's gone, gone? finished it's finished <laughs> gone to sleep <laughs> we've just been given our water but as you heard him say no sorry i don't know where it's gone but i don't have them and we are off on the six hour journey from Ahmedabad. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. To Mumbai Central. Six hours. I think this is actually the fastest train from Ahmedabad to Mumbai. One of the fastest trains in all of India. I'm just still a little bit upset about our TV screens. But the fact that we have this fancy, painted, unique carriage, I can't complain. How do I do this? Like this? Ah, look at that. What do we have? I'm going to wait for you so you can have Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we have a mango refreshing drink. I'm not sure if this is the meal or the snack. We have ketchup. I don't know what's in there. I'm not sure, but we have a protein peanut bar. It's actually really, really good. Um, Nuts and more, snack attack, and a sandwich, but I can't say that, that I know what's good. inside. I'm looking forward to trying the peanut cheeky. It looks quite good. It looks similar to what we have at home. I can't remember what it's called though. The nutty bar. It's like nutty chocolate. No, not chocolate. Like caramel. 
sure whether this is an actual meal because you had to like opt in for an actual meal or this is, is no this is just <laughs> the in i was gonna say in fly i'm gonna try i have no idea no idea what this is Try that, I'm not sure what that is. Vegetable. It's like a vegetable puff pastry with spices. It's not bad. If this is just a snack, it's good going. countryside I've seen water buffalo I've even seen a camel I don't know how how someone got a camel but there was a villager with a camel delivering his goods it was like a camel that I don't know what would you call it a camel a cam, not a camel taxi a camel I don't know, like, like, like a camel tractor yeah, yeah, yeah. but I have no idea how there was a, a camel in the countryside of India is a, a naan or paratha. And we have a skimmed milk dahi. I'm going to go in with the paneer dish because that is literally one of my favourite dishes ever. This looks really, really good. Can you see that? It's very like vibrant, steaming, full of colour. Okay, here goes. Oh, wow. Wow, that's got a kick. Oh my gosh, that's is really it good? spicy. See, I'd expect train, I was about to say plain, train food to be terrible. It's got the same sort of, believe it or not, it's got the same standard as plain food, which I think is actually, I don't mind plain food, I think it's really, really good, but this, this is so good. The paneer is so soft, um, and the sauce is really nice. This is unexpected. You know what? I was dreading this. I didn't really know what to expect from Indian train food. I've heard, we've seen, I think we've all seen the horror stories, but we have a giant blooming paratha. It looks really good. I don't know. <laughs> the dough looks a bit soggy. Spicy or no? No. No? You're sort of just dowing. <laughs> Dow. <Does> that makes any sense. That's not the best. Open it. Do not spill that on you. You are wearing light grey. That's going to go everywhere. Right, I'm getting him just for the sauce. You can tell me it's pretty spicy. It is good. The dough is terrible. But 
Christmas watching flavour. I'm very impressed. We said earlier, when we get to Mumbai at 9 o'clock this evening, where are we going for dinner? But I don't think I'm going to need to because this is a reasonably solid. Hmm. But yeah, it's got flavour. The Molly actually said, if you look on the top, it's not made by a train company. It's made by a separate caterer, so that is seeing me through. I honestly have no idea what this is. Skimmed milk dahi. Now I think it's so often have like spicy food or oily food or something. But like look at the consistency. It's like a jelly. It looks disgusting. I don't know, look at that. I don't because you talking about it like that makes me want to be sick. It's not too bad. It's kind of made it to Mumbai. It is now 9.52 at night. Watching, watching, bro. Me? Uh, watching, uh, watching. Watching, uh, watching? YouTube. YouTube. Come, come, come. I'm okay, my friend. Thank you. We have made it to Mumbai. Only 15 minutes late. And how about that? We got served. I'm okay. Thank you. We got served some ice cream. That is probably not what you think of when you think of an Indian train a blooming ice cream an ice cream vendor? Yeah. I don't know, yeah, an ice cream vendor, a dessert after your three course dinner soup, main and ice cream to finish it off but we now need to figure out how to get around this giant mega city and get to our hotel I'm absolutely knackered but if you are travelling from Ahmedabad to Mumbai, would you ride the Shatabdi Express, dubbed the best train carriage in all of India? I don't know. I feel like the Vandaburat might be a little bit better, but um, it's very unique. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so we have another fancy-looking carriage, and that is the Vista Stone. So, so this is at the front of our train. They have Open windows and the roof. Does it have an open roof? Oh my god, what's that noise? It's shut at the minute because it's dark. What is that noise? But yeah, they have a visitor train on our train as well. How cool is that? So we're actually going to do one of them, I think, in a few days' time. They say if you're going to do a Vista Dome, get it on a scenic route because it's just glass all the way around. This has got to be the biggest train station in India. It's absolutely massive. And actually, it's got beautiful decorations all the way around. I can't believe how busy it is at like 10 p.m. It's literally 10 o'clock at night and it, it is packed. So you can see you've got the Mumbai gate up there and all sorts of street art. I'm, I'm delirious right now. I'm waffling. I don't even know what I'm saying. I just need to get in this taxi get to bed but it is a really cool look at this huge grand old station good morning from Mumbai and the gateway of India we collapsed last night I was absolutely knackered after our train from Ahmedabad to Mumbai but when you think of Indian trains you probably don't think of three course meals ice cream and normally TV screens it was like flying first class on an airplane the Anna beauty class supposedly the best train class in all of India but we've made it to Mumbai and we're gonna be here for the next few days of course starting at that famous gateway so we'll see you for more videos from Mumbai India